So let's take a look at using multiple deformers on one drawing layer. This week at work, this is kind of a recreation of the issue that I ran into. There was a body and then on the body or the shirt or whatever, there were some stripes. Four stripes all on one drawing layer. And I kept getting a revision saying, Fabio, can you please deform these stripes so they fit the curve of the body? So my first thought was to use an envelope deformer around the box just like this. And then I could push and pull the corners, right? The problem was because the art is on one layer, it deforms like this. So this is no good. So that didn't work. And I thought to myself, okay, so let's try and use a single deformation line. Maybe that won't skew the artwork as much. If we see, yeah, that kind of works. But the problem with this is I don't have much control over this drawing layer. I can only bend all four lines at the same time. What if I want to bend just the top one or just the middle one, right? So I needed more control. So then now I decided let's try and put a deformer on each line and see what happens. So I'm using my deformers like this, right? Just regular clicking and dragging all the way down. So I kind of have more control, but the problem is all my deformers are connected to each other. So when one moves up, it's still skewing my the other lines. And this is kind of where I got stuck. I didn't know how to create four separate deformers on the same drawing layer without them being connected to each other. I asked my supervisor and she told me the solution and it was so simple, I could not believe I didn't know about this. So basically we start the same, we use our deformation tool, I'm using an envelope deformer. On our stripe layer, we start at the top, click and drag, click and drag normally, but this time before going to our next stripe, we're going to click off anywhere on the node view, just to be safe, we'll click the body, click back on the stripe. And now when we use our deformation, the lines aren't connected to each other, right? Click off, click back on third, click off, click back on fourth. I can deform each of these separately but I can move them as one group. It's that simple. So if you if you come across a problem like this, don't worry, it's a very simple fix. Okay, that's about all the time we have for today, guys. Hopefully you learned a little something useful about using deformations. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see everybody in the next video.